Good morning folks. It's Sunday the 25th of July. I'm working on the housing estate at Capella, 50 kilometres north of Emerald. I'm standing at the back and on the boundary of lots 14 and 15. I'm going to pan around, I won't quite go around to the sun because it'll get too glary, but you can see the virgin land behind the estate. Now I'm looking across here towards lot 13 where I did my first borehole, the other side of this little easement, walkway I think. Um, I've shown those few small to medium trees that are along the boundary, they'll be on the sketch. The land has got a very gentle slope, but for each block it's we'll call it virtually flat. You only a scrape uh, and it would be level. Um, as I pan around, I'm looking up Scotts Peak Drive and there's a house on lot three. That's, that house is on lot three. There's some houses further over. The, marks, the, the blocks are marks old anyway, so it's pretty obvious. Now the soil profile, um, a test like one I got about four to five hundred of black clay which I'm not sure it could be filled but I doubt it. Uh, just looking along the back boundary, you'd suspect there might be a tiny bit of fill, but by the time you come into the back of the house where the house footprint would be, I wouldn't think there's any significant fill at all. This is test site two, and I've left the, I haven't pushed the dirt back in, uh, drilled it three metres, there was only about 200 of the dark. Maybe, maybe 300, two to 300 of the darker coloured soil, which is a silky clay. And then, get the shadow out of the way. Uh, the lighter, light grey brown, uh, it is a sandy silky clay with quite a lot of rock fragments. And then it changed to a light grey brown, or yellowish light grey brown. I haven't, haven't weathered the sample that up yet, but I noticed that at about two and a half it become very difficult to auger. I managed to get to three metres. Um, couldn't do pocket penetrometers, as you can see. I did do a DC PC test site one, and uh, very good. So, uh, um, yeah, well, uh, we'll see what unfolds as we continue around the estate. But while I'm still filming, looking across here, there's four houses on lots um, looks like 36, 35, 34 and 33. There's one other house on lot 24 over there. So we'll be working our way anti-clockwise around the estate, across towards I'll just say lot 24, back up along here where the other houses are, back around towards where I started. Uh, I'll do 9 or 10 holes, just to see how, if it stays consistent, that should be adequate. Uh, this is a ball film at the Capella bus, Capella site. Uh, I'm up on Burn Street, near the corner of Scotts Peak. Panning around, this is lot one, first block on your right. It's actually test site eight because I started down in that back corner and worked my way around anti clockwise. And there's a small to medium tree on the adjacent block, which I'll show. Um, this one had a little bit of fill, about 200 of gravel, probably an old stockpile or something from some of the civil works. Then there was the typical layer of black clay that I've encountered on all test sites, which is very stiff. Went down to about 800 and then I went into uh, the sandy silty clay with rock fragments increasing. 
and then this one went into weathered rock and only got to about 2200 and it's becoming difficult, very difficult to auger so it's terminated there. And you can see the soils here. Uh, there's the gravel material. That's a little bit of the black clay. You can see that. You can see it's um, very stiff. Just break it. Pocket penetrometers in excess of 300. And this is the, this is the weather drop material. Take a little bit more general footage looking down to the corner where I started, this side number one, panning around as I went anti clockwise. You can see there is probably a 1% roughly slope across the entire site. A little bit steeper down in the back corner where I did test site five and six, and I've shown a slope arrow on those. But otherwise, within a block, by the time they scrape the side, it'll be level. It's the odds. Maybe small and medium scattered trees. I'll show most of them, but once again, they're insignificant in the scheme of things. This is test site 11. <coughs> Just thought I'd check the base of one of the holes. Uh, you can have a listen for yourself. Hopefully you'll hear this. So it's pretty hard down there, that's it, about two metres. Uh, I've called it EB, still drilling but very difficult. 